Now, as I told you that we have two type of uh, searching algorithm or searching strategies or searching techniques. So the first searching techniques are in the category of uninformed searching technique or uninformed search strategy. The second one is informed search strategy. So first we'll see all the algorithms related to the uninformed search algorithms or search, search strategy. And after that, we'll see that how the informed search is, is there and how an informed search is, uh, is different than the uninformed search. So what is uninformed? Uninformed, as the name suggests, we doesn't have much information. We doesn't have much information related to the problem. Right. So the solution, the, the information that we are getting is very minimal, very minimal algorithm. We are getting initially while we are searching for the solution. Okay. This is called uninformed search. So this covers several search strategy that come under the heading of uninformed search, which is called blind search. So uninformed search, which is called which is also called blind search because we doesn't have much information. We have only the basic information or the initial information related to the problem. The term means that the strategy have no additional information about a state below, beyond that provided in the problem definition. So in the problem definition, there are some, uh, you can see, some initial information, some basic information. Other than that, there is no information at all. All they can do is generate successor and distinguish a goal from a non-goal state. So there is the, the information like we can differentiate which particular node is a goal node, which particular node is not a goal node. How we can generate the successor means how we can generate the or how we can explore some more nodes that that we can see all such strategy are distinguished by the order in which the node are expanded so all searching strategy are different based on that how the node is expanded so as i told you here in the algorithm that choose the leaf node to remove from the frontier it means that we have this structure right we have s now from S, we have explored S1, S2, and S3, right? And we have done that. But from S1, S2, and S3, which is in the frontier list, which particular, front, which particular node we have to pick for exploration? So how, whether we'll pick this, or we'll pick this, or we'll pick this. So which one we'll have to pick? That is telling by the algorithm which I told you. So the same thing is written here that all searching strategy is different, is, is distinguished by the order in which node are expanded, how the node are expanded based on that only, that only different strategies are there for that one line. Strategies that known whether one non-goal state is more promising than another are called informed search or heuristic search algorithm. Now, what happened into the informed search algorithm? In that particular, we, we get more information about it so that we can find it out that particular non-goal state, whether we have to explore or not, whether it is looking promising to explore or not. So the making that decision, whether we have to explore that particular node or not, some additional information is given that is there in the informed search, which is also called heuristic search. Okay. So this informed search or heuristic search, we'll see later on. First, we'll see the uninformed search and we'll see that how this uninformed search will look like and how